look who I met here in the middle of the exhibition halls of Indigo 2022 in Essen. It's Chaba Singer from H Aero. And of course, I saw the H Aero, of course, up here in the air. Hi, Chaba, how are you doing? Hi, Denise, how are you? Thanks, I'm fine. Good to see you here. So, you're again here with the H Aero, the indoor drone. We already met at several interviews for yeah. several years. Um, you presented it first, I think, four years ago or five years? It was five years ago uh, at Berlin, uh, Hintermesse. It was, let's say, our first, um, let, let's say, uh, together. Okay. And since then, we uh, carry on every year um, flying around. Um, for the Intergeo, but also for the many different use cases uh, and for the many different um, customers and the audience of Intergeo. Tell us more about your customers and the use cases where the H Aero is used for. So at the moment we could find out that um, in research and development, so it's more or less some kind of aero type of technology what we have here, a computer in the state of suspension. In and research and development, yes. how that? So, yeah, like um, when there are some PhDs, uh, when some professors apply for federal funds, they used to do it more and more with H Aero. Um, and um, therefore, they, there is also a relatively high success rate in um, funding from, let's say, the European Commission, from um, the federal ministries or also from the regions in Germany. And let's say we sold the system to Vodafone um, one of the last years, could survive also Corona. As you know, the events went down a bit, so we could focus more on Earth observation, geodetic research, agriculture, uh, forestry. And the really advantages uh, of this H Aero is it's an indoor flight object, so it can fly over persons, and uh, yeah, so it has many not use only. cases. Not not only yes, so we have three different flight modes. So one of the flight modes is free flight, indoor and outdoor. Of course, there the weather must fit. The the wind um, sensitivity is relatively high. But if we want to have a position holding outdoor, for example, looking at traffic, um, then we can have also a tethered balloon with the same device. We just need to, let's say, manipulate it a bit. And then we can have it in the mode of a raft, like an aerosol. And there we can fly uh, huge areas with the wind, collecting data like a satellite. That's really cool. So it's a cool thing that I saw five years ago, first time at Intergeo, and it's still here and it developed so much. So if you're here around in the exhibition halls, look up, because my, there might be an H arrow above you. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Thank Java. you so much.